Ladies and gentlemen, we now present George Edwards in Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Oh, Miss Peters, I, I'm that glad to see you. Have you had any word from the master? Yes, Paul. I've had a letter. So have I, miss. Won't you step inside and see what's to be done? I've got a man with me, Paul. A locksmith. A locksmith? Yes, but I'll explain about it later. He's outside on the footpath. Tell him to come in and then come to me in the doctor's library, yes, will you? Yes, certainly, miss. Uh, will you come inside, my man? Uh, take a seat in the hall here and we'll tell you when we need you. All right, Governor. Mind if I put my bag of tools on the carpet? No, that'll be all right. Just put them on the floor. Poole, what does your letter say? It doesn't say very much, Miss Peters. Just to expect a visit from you and to do everything in my power to help you carry out certain instructions. Here it is, Miss, if you'd like to see it. When did you get it? About an hour ago. It was delivered by messenger. A bit of a boy who just pushed it into me hand and... Ran away before I could ask him anything. That's how I got mine. Oh, Paul, I'm frightened. I feel certain something terrible's happened to the doctor. Listen to what he says in the letter he wrote to me. My life, my honor, my reason depend upon you. If you fail me tonight, I'm lost. No matter what may try to prevent you, do as I ask you. Otherwise, a fate so terrible will descend upon me. But I cannot bring myself to put it down on paper. Mercy on me. Whatever can he mean? Let me read the rest of it. Find a reliable locksmith and go at once to my house. Poole, my butler, has his orders and will help you in what you have now to do. Get your man to smash in the door of my private laboratory. When this is done, you are to go in alone and to open the cabinet on the left-hand side of the room and to draw out with all its contents as they stand, the fourth drawer from the top. This drawer I beg of you to carry back to your room in Bloomsbury, exactly as it stands. At midnight, I ask you to be alone and to admit with your own hand a man who will present himself in my name. Place in his hands the drawer you will have brought from my house and you will have earned my undying gratitude. Do not fail me. Think of me at this hour, in a strange place, laboring under a blackness of distress that no fancy can exaggerate. And yet, if you will faithfully do as I ask, my troubles will roll away like a story that is told. Serve me, my dear Helen, and save your unhappy friend, Henry Jekyll. Why, whatever can it mean? Heaven only knows, Paul. But one thing is clear. We must do as he asks and get him the draw without any delay. Come along, then. I'll tell the man and we'll go out to the laboratory. Have you got a lantern? I'll get one. I think I'd also better get an axe. That door is very thick and strong. Oh, then get it, get it. It's now nearly ten o'clock and I've got to be back in my room by midnight. There's no time to be lost. Hurry, man, hurry. Can't you get that lock off? Uh, I've never seen a stronger lock in all my life. I've been at it nearly an hour now. Wait a minute till I try this other fire. Oh. Uh. If that won't open it, we'll have to smash in the door. That'll take a bit of doing, too. The doctor had this door specially made. I think I'm going to get it this time. See? It's starting to give. Put your shoulder to it and we'll give it a go. Ah. Uh. Oh, God, it. Well, there you are, miss. I told you I'd never been beat yet. All right, all right, good. Paul, give me the light. I'll go inside and get the drawer. Would you like me to come with you, Miss Peters? No, no. The doctor said I was to go alone. Just give me the lantern. As soon as I've got the drawer, I'm going to hurry back to my room. You can see that the door's sealed up again after I've gone. Yes, miss, I quite understand. Here's the light. We'll wait out here. All right. Creepy sort of place, this. What's it been used for? 
The doctor used it for experiments. Uh, it hasn't been any likely, has he? Look at all them cobwebs. Oh, oh blimey, what's that? What's the matter? Are you all right, Miss Peters? Oh, yes, yes, I'm all right. Nothing. Big rat ran across the floor. Lord, me. What's that over in the corner there? That's the doctor's skeleton. The doctor's? She used it for reference. Haven't you seen them in shop windows? Oh, yes, but I, I ain't seen one hidden away in a beastly, creepy place like this. I, I'll be fair glad to get out of it and no mistake. Then you won't have to stay much longer. I've got what I wanted, and, and all you've got to do now is to seal up the door again. Oh, lucky I brought a spare lock. I'll put it on right away. Would you like me to come across to the house with you, miss? No, no, fool. You stay here. I'll let myself out and get a cab. I've got to hurry. In half an hour, it'll be midnight. Yes, yes, I know. Let me in and shut the door. Quickly, quickly. Isn't that a policeman coming along the street shining his bullseye on the doors? Yes, it is. Let me in and shut the door. Oh. Is everyone asleep? Yes, I, I think so. Then take me upstairs. No, I, I'd rather that you waited here. Don't keep me here arguing. Take me upstairs and into your room. Some fool may come blundering out here. Do as I say. How dare you talk to me like that? I'm sorry, I... I apologize. You must forgive me. It's on account of my anxiety. You don't understand. But my friend, Dr. Jekyll... He's ill? Desperately ill. If I don't soon take him the contents of that drawer, it may be too late. Oh, then come at once. I shouldn't have kept you waiting a moment. Yes. Can't I come with you? Surely I can do something to help him. He only needs the contents of that drawer. But if he's so ill... No, no, be guided by me. Keep away from him. Very well, if you're so sure. Here's my room. Come in and I'll give you what you want. Where is it, for pity's sake? Tell me where it is. It's here, <laughs> under that sheet. <laughs> is that what you came for? Yes, that's it. I, I was afraid there might have been some mistake. It's all there. The powders, the tincture, and the book containing the formula. What's the matter? Are you ill? You look like death. When a man has faced the horror that I have, you can't begin to imagine what it means to see these things. They are all that stands between heaven and hell. I, I cannot begin to thank you for what you've done. Well, then you must tell me where Henry Jekyll is. I insist. I'm his fiance. I've got the right to know. No, I cannot tell you. Then you'll not take that drawer away till you do. Give it to me. Give it to me. I say, oh, by heaven. Oh, you Put can't. It down. You Put can't. It. Who's that? I don't know. Is it anyone for you? Not at this hour. Open the window and see who it is. Who's there? What do you want? I want you to open this door. Who are you? The police. The police. Ask him what he wants. What do you want? I have a warrant for the arrest of Edward Hyde. We trailed him to this house. He went in this door not five minutes ago. No. It's you. You're Edward Hyde, the murderer. Don't let them in. Don't let them in. If you do, it's the end of Jekyll, too. What am I to do? What are you to do? Oh. Have you a measuring glass? Yes. Give it to me. Give it to me. Quickly. Quickly. Here it is. Turn up the light so that I can see to measure out a dose of this tincture. What are you going to do? Oh, do as I say. Do as I say and ask no questions. Three, four, five, six drops. Now the salts. Ah, the mixture starts to work. <laughs> Crush them. They'll have the whole house roused. Hold them over another few minutes and then they can do their worst. Well, what are you going to do? What's in that glass? You're not going to drink it. I'd have done anything to avoid this. I've got no choice. That knocking on the door downstairs is a summons to the gallows. There's only one way out. You're not going to kill yourself. No. 
I'm not going to kill myself. I'm going to be born anew. Hide your eyes, Helen Peters, for they are going to look upon a sight that will blast them with terror and horror that has never met the gaze of man before. They're coming. I must do it. Heaven have mercy on us both. I don't know. I don't know. She got suddenly terrified when she heard the banging at the door. I've done my best to calm her, but she seems to be quite beyond control. And who are you? This is my card. I am Dr. Henry Jekyll. (laughs) 